So I've just driven all the way from the east of Singapore to the west of Singapore to NTU actually specifically because this is where Jackson's Hall is. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Jackson's behind the camera and um, Jackson is a student in NTU. So um, yeah, so we are going to take the Land Rover Discovery, this 130 that we're driving right now and we are going to go look for some interesting places to shoot the car because to be honest, it's pretty hard to find a decent place to shoot a car in Singapore nowadays because everywhere is either obstructed with uh, construction or it's um, security guards will chase you away which is really annoying um, but we wanted to find somewhere that was interesting enough for the Land Rover Discovery 130 because it's such a special car it's such a it's such an epic piece of machinery and Singapore's pretty urban in terms of its landscape so you know it's it's not the kind of place where you can find a wide open forest or a wide open lake for you to shoot a car like that so we figured that the next best thing we could do was to find a sort of an industrial area uh, somewhere with like heavy machinery and uh, we're gonna try and shoot some stuff there and then later on Adeline's gonna come by uh, with a cam car and then we're gonna try and do some tracking shots as well and um, it's just something that we we as a uh, car people just feel like we have to do because uh, you can't just get a car like that and then go around doing a regular photo shoot and a regular video shoot so um, now we are driving around NTU or in the Jalan Baha area and for those of you who are not familiar this is just Ulu as hell <laughs> it's the most some people call it Pula NTU <laughs> <laughs> because it's just so far away that we just call it Pula and Tiu. Some, some people joke that we have to bring a passport actually. Um, like Jackson, what do, you, what do you have to say about your school being so far away? We have to take MRT here and it's like two and a half hours just to come here every weekend. So I, I really do feel like I have to bring a passport. Like is, it, like, is that what you told your parents uh, <coughs> as an excuse to stay in the hall? Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, technically, you're not supposed to stay in the hall past your first year, right? It's only meant for first year students, like typically, right? No way, eh? like usually people stay for like, more than three, three years. And yeah. how do you get enough points to like stay? Just to, you just get involved in like hall activities, or yeah. <laughs> it's like a scam. It's like a scam. Okay, but anyway, um, now we're on Jalan Baha. We're gonna go find some uh, more secluded areas to uh, shoot the car and uh, actually the area we're entering right now this is Lim Chu Kang Welcome to Lim Chu Kang and uh, this place is famous for having every kind of cemetery there like you could think of so in the past this area was all um, cemeteries all tombstones and there were Malay cemeteries Chinese cemeteries Christian cemeteries and actually a lot of the a lot of cemeteries have been exhumed or rather the the, the, the graves have been, have been exhumed uh, to make way for housing de developments so um, this whole place is like sort of in a state of limbo right now half of it is being dug up half of it is still natural half of it is just creepy as hell um, but uh, so uh, before coming I actually messaged Jackson and asked him to bring his amulet so like Jason, do you bring your bring your amulet? Yes, you brought it. <laughs> it's in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, let's go find some stuff to. And you know what? The, the last time we were here, last time we were here, it started fogging up as well, right? Like crazy. Yeah. And now it's fogging up again, so I don't really know what this what is up with this place. But anyway, let's go find some stuff. I'm not going to tell you guys where this is Because technically we're not supposed to be here But Who knows? Maybe we'll spot some wild ball 
Our wild dogs. Our wild dogs. Hopefully that's all we spot. Our wild things. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's stuff, there's stuff, there's people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, which means that uh, we shouldn't. It's the adventure camp, I think. Yeah, this is the adventure camp. Oh, no. now, now we've told people where we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyways. That, that's where the. Nobody said we couldn't drive in, yes. right? They just, you know. That's where the Japanese came. Is, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I thought that was at like, Crunchy, the other part. There's one more, there's one more that, 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 that has like a, a, a gate to the waters. No, they came from the north. They came from Malaysia. <laughs> really, right? I think so. Anyway, this is where people camp out. I think part of the reason that driving in creepy places at night feels safer in a car like that is because you kind of have this impression that you're not going to get stranded because the car will roll over anything. And we're out. So I didn't want to say this just now, but did, like, do you smell like rotten eggs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't want to say it just now, but yeah, we did smell rotten eggs. Um, and uh, what is it they say about uh, like about the rotten egg smell? I know. I thought I only, I only heard about the oh, like the sweet, penny, the sweet yeah, smell, the, the sweet smell. Penny smell. Penny I think oh. the rotten egg is normal. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's oh. like fertilizer or like cow dung or something. All right then. Then yeah. I guess uh, it's better than sweet smell. I guess that's all well and good then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pull across this um construction area that isn't really guarded and we're gonna pop in and take a look and see what we can find this is pretty creepy I'm not even sure where it leads to but <laughs> let's go take a look yeah. my goodness I can't even see anything man I can't even see yeah, that's, that, that's the problem with a place like that because you can't even see anything. It is quite a large car. Anyway, let's get out of here because I don't think we should be here anyway. But yes, this is the sort of thing that you have to do in Singapore if you want a good shot of anything. <laughs> so, you have to kind of think outside the box and uh, be willing to go to weird places like that. We are going to head towards Sungai Kadut, which is Kranji. And um, Kranji itself is known for all the factories and industrial buildings that are around the area so you've got a lot of woodworking there and a lot of industrial equipment suppliers over there so hopefully we can find a empty or a unguarded um, space where there's some nice industrial stuff around where we can sort of put the defender um, against and then we can have a nice backdrop there so yeah let's go Goes. Good. That way? This way? Okay, thank you. <laughs> we just the the GPS just told us to go this way and we are now facing a dead end. <laughs> and we are in the middle of nowhere, so uh, that's pretty damn creepy. But let's find our way. It's honestly very warming to see the word Defender in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is indeed. <laughs> so now we're driving over Crunchy Dam. So on this side, you've got the reservoir. And then on that side, you've got Malaysia. this 
um, sort of like this industrial scrapyard and like there's like pipes and like it's just the coolest industrial place ever and like luckily nobody's chasing us out so like take a look around it's pretty pretty cool